my name's Darren Ricketts. I work for the University of West Scotland in ICT technical development. Um, we're a team of five people who basically specialise in bringing in new technologies within the university to either help cost, cut costs or to improve teaching and learning. The project itself is implementation of Big Blue Button within the teaching and learning environment. We've got it down to two products, um, one of them being Big Blue Button. And what we suggested then doing was running a pilot over trimester three with a small user group. And the uptake on it and the feedback we got from it was fantastic, saying it was great, it made a lot of savings, a lot of people travelling. Um, it was used for compassionate care students who are not necessarily based within the local area or within actually the UK. The record facility within Big Blue Button is an optional thing which the lecturers can set up themselves. It records the PowerPoint presentation, the audio and the chat, and anything that the student missed or was unsure of, they can go back and check through the recordings within Moodle, where it's all stored, and play back the recordings and use them later on for either revision notes or for the exams or assessments. Because it was so successful, what we decided to do was actually take it forward to a full-blown rollout, which we t basically took ahead this year in September and it's been running now for at least two months. Very successfully, very few problems. The way we've gauged it at the moment is the feedback from the lecturers. Um, we've got feedback from students, um, the posting stuff up on Moodle and sort of using Mahara. Uh, there's a user group for Big Blue Button up there at the moment. We're getting the feedback from the students and the staff saying, yes, they like it. Um, we were a multi-campus university, we've got four campuses, one in Dumfries, one in Ayr, one in Hampton and obviously one in Paisley. Uh, so our lecturers have to, normally would have to travel to all the different campuses to teach and the students would have to travel to the campuses as well depending on what module they're doing. We've now cut down the travelling expenses due to the fact that the lecturer can actually either do it from their office or their home and the students can do it from either their home or a library or wherever a location. And because of this and the weather that we have, the lovely weather that we have in this country, if we have a class cancelled, we can still run that class and that lecturer can run it from their house. And the students, obviously, they don't need to travel in or make anything, especially in the dangerous conditions that they can be. It's great.